Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors. Including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. We do our best each and every week to keep it tasteful, but discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This week on the show, we're headed out on the Tangier Sound off Somerset County for a good old fashioned sea duck hunt. We'll be braving some rough conditions, hoping to bring in a mixed bag of birds. Plus, the Eastern Waterfowl Festival is where the pros go, but these youngsters are just getting started. We'll check in on this kid's calling contest. And it's not a glamorous task, but it's necessary. See how Delaware's wildlife agency is staying ahead of a deadly deer disease. Right now on Outdoors Del Marva. Scott's first white marlin. Of course, they didn't come all this way just to stock these fish. We might as well see if we can't catch them. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. And now, here's Mike Parker. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. We'll be checking in with Captain Willie Dykes in just a few minutes. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving and your turkey dinner. If you've had your fill, well, that's all right. We've still got birds on the brain. Yeah, we came out here this morning off of Somerset County out onto the Tangier Sound for a good old fashioned sea duck hunt. When you're talking sea ducks, you're talking scoters, old squaw specifically. Every once in a while though, you get a shot at a diver or two in the decoy spread. Either way you look at it, it's a lot of work. It can also be a heck of a lot of fun. Like any type of duck hunt, the adventure starts early. And as we leave the docks at Winona under moonlit skies, Jason Bakedal is leading us out onto the open water of Tangier Sound. Adventure, always something different. <laughs> and just being about half crazy. With the sun now inching up in the sky, the signs are encouraging. Silhouettes on the horizon reflect that the ducks are here. There's not a lot here yet, but there's, there's enough here to hunt. Um, if we don't find any more in a different spot, we'll probably come back here and set up. But it's a lot of work setting everything up, so you want to make sure you're in the right spot when you do it. We're, uh, we're at nine feet, and we're going to get an anchor out, get a good 30, 40 feet on that line. The first trick is to transfer Jason's dad, Neil, and brother, Corey, into smaller layout boats. Surprisingly sturdy, kind of an extra wide kayak-like craft, still already rocking in the choppier than expected seas. He could probably break off a crowbar right now. <laughs> I'll be filming alongside returning hunting partner, Brandon Oakley in this two-seater, while our buddy, Billy Hardesty, joins Jason and Chocolate Lab Marley back on the big boat for the tedious task of now setting out several lines of decoys. Sea ducks spend all day out on the water, getting up and getting down in search of other feeding flocks. And while it may look like we're the sitting ducks, sure to be picked up by keen eyes, our low profile actually blends into the chop pretty well. And even before the final decoys hit the water, the first birds are heading our way. How'd that go? Not very good. <laughs> so you have examples of good shooting, and you have bad shooting. Right? Tell me you guys got something. I wish I could tell you that, Jason, but I cannot. And as I'm quickly finding out, aiming the camera at these birds is just as hard as taking them down. Luckily, we'll have plenty of more opportunities and chances to redeem ourselves. With each down duck, Jason and Billy return for a retrieve, either using a net to scoop up a scoter, or option number two, sending Marley into action to lap up a long tail. Nice work, boy. I'll give. How's it going? Pretty rough out here, man. 
You guys getting some footage or what? Yeah, man. Good stuff. With more than a dozen ducks now on the boat, the shooting remains steady while the seas continue to grow with each gust of wind, making every shot a challenge. Another outdoors Delmarva moment. Uh, I, I definitely started off a bit rough, and uh, as the day wore on, I seemed to find my rhythm and, I guess, learn how to work with shooting when the boat was moving. I did manage to burn through two boxes of shells, though, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a little tough trying to shoot waves up and down. A lot of times, you know darn well you missed them because of the wave action. <laughs> But it's, it's fun, it really is. But for this water fouling family and friends with a newfound passion, it's been a morning to remember, to hone skills and log hours out on the water. Experience you can't only measure in ducks. Get out of the water, Delmarva! Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just licking the bill. <laughs> Coming up next on Outdoors Del Mar, every waterfowler has got to start somewhere. And we'll check in with some youngsters trying to call them in. But first, did you know? Long-tailed ducks, also known as old squaw, are prized by hunters. But due to their diet of small fish, mollusks, and crustaceans, the birds themselves can take on a fishy taste when cooked We'll learn more about their feeding habits when we come back. You're watching Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. Sponsored by Ocean City Tourism. Shorts Marine. Shooter's Choice. Sean Mann Outdoors. and Wink Sporting Goods. Outdoors Del Marva will be right back. See, we even feed the cameraman. That's what we do. It's true. Normally we do this with the birds. And the cameraman is hungry. 